thank you for being here at I Win News 5. Aliens thought to be seen around the Ringwood area at 3.41 p.m. The alien was appeared to lose a UFO motor park. An eyewitness was on his way home. When he saw something appear to fall out of the sky, he went to the general location where it landed, and he called our news team right away. Jack? Yes, we're here with Jackson. We're going live with Jack. He said he's seen the alien. Here's the footage. Yes, I'm here live at the scene with Farmer Joe Bob, one of the best farmers around Ringwood. Sir, I heard you saw an alien. Tell me what you saw. Yes, sir, I did. Last night when I came to feed my cattle, I saw a dead game over by that tree. I was about to cry my pants. Shoot, there he is right now. Let's go. Let's go, man. Let's go. We've been chasing this thing for four hours now. I lost my tie, my coat. Just to get close. Shoot, I'm about to lose my pants. Shoot, is that a Sasquatch over there? Shh. There he is. Shh. Huh? Okay, Jack. The reporter and the farmer chased around the alien for several hours. They cornered him into a wooded area. They didn't want to get too close because they were scared. I'm sexy and I know it. Check it out. Check it out. After the alien ran again, they found him what scientists believe is a pet macaque, which is a species of monkeys. Anyway, the alien was appeared to be dancing Element Field's newest hit, Sexy and I Know It. I just been informed that the, the farmer and the reporter chased the alien, and the alien got mad and furious at them, and somehow shot a missile from the mothership to the place where the farmer and the reporter were standing, and they died. Yes, we're here with a second broadcaster, Joey. Yes, we're here at the tragic scene where our best news reporter and a local farmer, Joe Bob, lost their life to a missile shot by the alien last night. We don't know where the alien is now, we just hope he'll leave us alone. Now let's ha please have a moment of silence to remember our loss. Back to you, Tom. Okay, well, thanks, Jack. My prayers and my condolences go out to the families of Farmer Joe Bob and reporter Jack Sparrows. Yes, <clears throat> and I think this is pretty tough for them, of them seeing this on TV. Yeah, wow. yeah. On national level, I mean, to find out that they died like that, must suck to eat them. We got some breaking news. Japanese have gone on a rampage destroying the Great Wall of China. Was Steve Jobs not fast enough? Was it because too many iPhones were sold? I mean, if you ask me personally, I just don't think they're fast enough. And, I mean, at least other companies, you know, still have their CEOs up and running and alive. But anyways, we'll get back to this story tomorrow in the morning. Right. Thank you. Thank you for being here. I went to oh. survive. Thank you. Good night.
report in the farmer for several hour, hours, hours, and, and they cornered him into a wooded area. That's my part. <laughs> no, I, I told you, I told you that this is your part. Remember the reporter, the reporter, and the farmer chased her on. <laughs> <laughs> Ha ha ha!